Hello, welcome to the broadcast. Today, I am going to talk about five steps to inviting someone to travel with you. You know, we get a number of people who who come up with these lists of people that they want to travel with them, uh, whether it's to our Rio Carnival trip that's coming up or to the trip to Africa that's coming. You know, we always have uh, travelers who most of our travelers will say that they want to travel with at least one of their friends or one of their families. And quite often, more, more often than not, people end up just coming by themselves. But I wanted to come with this message because it's a very important message uh, that I think a lot of people who are not in the habit of asking someone uh, for something or asking someone to go someplace with you, I hope that this message will uh, give you some some tools that you will be able to use that will allow you to, to confidently invite someone to travel with you. And so I say that to li- kind of lay the foundation because so many of you pick the wrong targets to invite to come on a trip with you. You know, we have to get to a place, and I say we, meaning I'm including myself in this equation. We have to get to a place where we can evaluate people quickly and move forward or move on quickly. You know, some of us have friends and family who will leave us guessing for months as to whether or not they are going to travel to a certain destination or go on a trip with us. The problem so many of us have is we have in our minds the people we want to travel with us. And more often than not, I hate to say it, but more often than not, the people we want to travel with, like those classmates or, you know, some of your coworker friends who you're really tight with or you know, some of the people you grew up with, more often than not, these are not the right people to travel with. You have to be able to travel with people who can move when you are ready to move, who have the resources available and the time available to go where you you want when you want. And to be honest, like if I think about my own personal experience, It is a rare occasion where I've been able to travel with the people I really want to travel with. And so and so today's broadcast is dedicated to the five steps that you really need to implement when inviting someone to travel with you. And to be honest, these steps are designed so you can assess people quickly. So step one, you want to start by asking the person when was the last time they took a trip that will tell you whether or not they are a viable option a lot of times when people have just either traveled to a certain state here in the united states or if they just came back into the country from having visited another country a lot of times These are not ideal candidates because they need time to recover from their travels, both physically, because travel can be very physically taxing on the body, but they also need to recover financially. It takes money to travel. And so a lot of times if you ask someone who just got back into the country or who just came from another trip, then their desire may be there, but their finances may not be there and they may not have the time available depending on their job and what their time off is. And so I would always recommend you start by asking when was the last time that that person traveled? That's step one. Step two is tell them where you want to go and why you want to go. For those of you who decide, for example, let's say we have our our trip coming up to Rio Carnival in February. For those of you who decide to travel with us to Rio for Carnival, or, you know, this is applicable regardless of the place. 
you decide to go to that particular place for your own reasons. And everyone has a different reason. Some people, for example, some people have always wanted to visit Rio de Janeiro, but the time and the opportunity never came up. Some people feel pressure at work and just are over it and need a vacation. Some people love costumes and the carnival type of atmosphere. And then you have those people who want to experience a specific landmark in Rio, for example, Christ the Redeemer. Christ the Redeemer is a very well-known landmark in Rio. And so many people want to go to the top of this particular landmark to be able to look out on the beautiful Rio and take their pictures. Other people, it's a very spiritual uh, experience because they want to go inside the church and, and do some prayers. Um, you know, different people have their own reasons. And I can go on and on and on down a list of why people choose to travel where they do. But what's most important is when you're inviting someone to travel with you, be very transparent about why it is you want to go. And sometimes your why will help them and also to help you to know if this person has the same or a similar desire that you have in terms of visiting this particular destination. So that is step two. Step three is you want to share with them the dates of travel and how much the trip will cost. People make decisions based on cost. Anyone who is on board with going on a trip with you, but they have not inquired about how much it will cost is not someone who's serious about going. And this has happened to me. So I know from firsthand experience, that's why when people message us at Black Travelers Network and inquire about a trip, I start talking money first. People, some people get a little offended and, and, and say, well, you make it seem like it's all about the money. You know, we had one woman who wrote in and, you know, we told her on the front end how much the trip cost. And the woman was so offended because we started talking to her about the cost of the trip before we spoke to her about any of the trip details. And this is important and I want everyone to understand this because if people are turned off by you talking about how much the trip is going to cost on the front end, that's the sign that, you know, this might not be someone who's really serious because you have to talk about money first, because if the trip is not within a person's budget, then it doesn't make sense to discuss the trip any further. It takes money to travel. Do not let people guilt you into not discussing money on the front end and do not shy away from talking about the money on the front end because you don't want to make people feel like they can't afford it. That's certainly happened. One lady told us, well, I didn't ask you about the money. I can afford it. And it's like, look, we have to talk about the finances on the front end because if this is not within your budget, the details of the trip don't even matter. And so you must talk about the financial commitment that it takes in order to travel with you or go on the trip that you're inviting uh, the person to. So step four, ask them very directly by saying, I would love for you to join me on this trip. Do you have the time and money to go with me? you are looking for a clear answer. That's either a yes or a no. If the answer is yes, give them a clear deadline when they have to make a deposit or a first payment and ask them, can they meet that deadline? And that is something that will help you wrap your mind around, okay, whether or not you can count on this person to commit on a greater level than just saying, hey, I wanna go. Step five and the final step is to follow up with the person and let them know you're going to follow up with them. If you invite someone on a trip 
and they tell you, yes, they are going. And for one reason or another, they do not meet that deadline for that first payment or and they have failed to communicate that with you. You know, I understand different things come up at different times, but if they fail to communicate that with you, then that is a red flag and you kind of have your answer. You know, you need someone who's going to be able to pick up the phone and say, hey, I paid my deposit or hey, something came up. I told you I was going to pay on Friday because this unexpected thing came up. I can't pay on Friday, but here's the next time I know I will have the money and here's when I will pay. That's the kind of thing you need to hear. And I always say, do not hesitate to cut people off and move on. If you are not seeing the kind of behavior that shows you that this person is serious about making travel with you happen, then it's fine to cut them off. It is not a good use of your time to depend on other people to make moves in order for you to make moves. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, make it a point to subscribe. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen.